Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for checking out, or good evening. Thank you for coming to my channel. He says I'm cute here. This I wanted to jump on and um, do a quick explanation of the Blossom Derby. I've had, I've seen some questions and I wanted to answer these really quickly, just a short video. So as you can see, there's this task right here, the town building task that is up for 320. Now you see all nine, you can see the varying different tasks. You see two down there already taken. This is not a fast enough task, not something that my team is doing for the Boston Derby. Everybody handles theirs differently. I am the owner of my own hood. So, and I do have other managers, elders. They can delete tasks, which you should be utilizing in your hood if you care about your ranking in the champion league. But back to the Boston Derby. You get a maximum, no matter how many players you have, of three tasks. They all start out at 320. This one is the one we'll do, so I'm going to trash. And no, I don't trash everything. Um, you can. There's different theories. I'm testing some myself. I have noticed that when I trash ones like fishing that I don't want, then that may be what pops up next or a town visitor or the boat. I'm trying to force a crop task or a help task or mining task to pop up. That way I can get through these really fast. So you see, I've already done four tasks. But let's go to these bottom ones. So you saw that it starts out at 320. Every time a person takes one, it starts something different. So I have not taken a first task, but I have been the second down here. Uh, actually, I did take a first task. So I've taken one at every level. The very first rice harvest, sorry, the very first rice harvest that my team had, I took first. I was prepped for it first. I took it first. And we got carrots and mine as our other two tasks for our first three. But as you can see, I have one at 320, 350, 375, and 400. That's how it works. So the first time somebody takes a task, no matter who it is, it's 320 points. The second person will get it for 350. This is a second rice that's actually currently being worked on right here by one of my other farms. And it's worth 375. This was a... So... I took my first. It's now gone away. We got a second one back. I was the second person to do it. That's at the top of the list. This farm is the third farm doing that rice. And as you can see, here's the last of our other rice to get finished. Um, I was the last one of, you know, as you go up, the fourth person to then take a task gets it at 400 and every member of your hood that takes that task gets it at 400. It, think of it as a relay race. So the first person in the relay is going to get you 320 points for that portion of the relay. Then if you, the second person takes you hand off to the second person, they take that task. They're going to get you this 350 points. Then you're going to have somebody that you handed off to, in this case, Stevens Farm. They are going to get 
375 points for that task to go towards your team total. Now, person number four, so we'll go to little Gil's farm here in my hood. Uh, he is the fourth person to be doing this one, and he is getting 400 points. Like you can see in my personal derby log, there's the 320, the 350, the 375, and 400. You can see the order. What really tends to throw people, because you hand them down. So for me, I'm gonna sh I'll show you guys this. This is my hood. And you can see, you know, in my case, it works out because we have a strict order of which we go through in most cases. Uh, that I'm at the top with the most points. I've completed the most tasks. But four of these farms are mine. I only have two other hood members. One has two farms in. So the, this is happens to be close, but you can see all these threes have different totals in their points. And that's because each person has done them in a different order. So this is my main farm. This is my personal one that I started. Now I'm going to go because they're in. Let's go look at little girls. He's one of the last that needs to finish up this. I am using the fast harvest method. Um, he will have to take rice again because there's two rice up. So I've now completed the task. I will go into my chat here. Rice is up. And my points are then added. You've got 400 points for doing that task. You can see rice is up. And that is a great part of doing this because you're having that team communication. Sorry, I'm also typing that into our um, chat. This requires a uh, outside of outside. It requires a lot of communication to do the Blossom Derby, and that's how these teams are really successful. It's not just how fast are you completing like a normal. It's how fast are you completing these as a team. So if you look at his personal, he has only done three tasks. Look, you can see she's already one of my other team members. She's already on it. She took it. Look, we split. Um, the reason we only have two is because the uh, other, the carrot task was completed and got deleted, which is why we're waiting for a new one. And technically that'd be task number five that'll pop up because this farm still has to do um, this rice. But you can see he's done, he's usually the, the last. It did do out of order on the mine just because of how things were prepped. Um, one of my hoodies did both of their farms first, then this farm did it and I did it in reverse order. Normally when I go through and I do these, I go, I choose to go through them in the order unless they're listed over here. So I always start with my main farm, then I'll go to Stevens, then I'll go to Daddy, and then I'll go to Little Gill. My baby farm isn't participating. So Stevens is, though, he's doing... Um, 
I actually need a higher. He's doing his at the 375. He usually is towards the bottom when all, everybody catches up. I f tend to be towards the bottom on the side just for points. Um, because of the order in which I do it. I know that my other farms are going to outrank me because of the order I choose to do it. Sometimes I'll do it backwards, but I always do it in an order. And that's the easiest way to manage if you have multiple farms on one device is do it in the exact same order. Don't get out of sequence. So I always use, I always use the sequence, either top to bottom or bottom to top for all of my farms in the Derby. And I hope that understanding it like relay is helpful. You don't need to worry so much over here and the order. So you may have somebody who's completed four tasks that ends up being on the bottom, you know, or nine tasks or even 10, they're on the bottom and that points, the points in the Blossom Derby aren't going to be equal for everybody unless they've somehow managed to take, we have two farms that manage to take in the same order for something. So at the moment I have two farms that do, but those are going to change and I can do a follow up post at the end when I collect my rewards, if you guys comment and I can show you how this point derby task log changes. And it's not that I have any hoodies not doing their task. It's just how we set it up. We keep a, group chat going and then we also use our team chat here uh, to communicate and I have a great hood and we we keep it small because that's easiest for us but as long as you're helping manage and you know what you're trying to accomplish it'll make this easier and the blossom can be so fun to do it isn't fun if you don't have a good hood to work in. And I understand that. But for somebody like me who has a great hood, this is absolutely fun. I need to go in and do some feeding and other things on my farm and replant things. But I wanted to be able to show you guys how this worked. And you can see now that she's taken that, that task that was 375 is 400 because the next person has taken it. It's moved up and oh, actually no, the 400 stayed at 400 because the next person took it. Sorry. When the next person takes this, it will be, but I still have one more collection to do on this farm. And I can come back and, and show you multiple portions. If you guys want that for next, Blossom Derby, when it comes around, leave a comment that you, hey, can you make a video where you piece together multiple to show? But I wanted to show you how it works with deleting. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to speed this up just so you can see. This pops up. This is perfect corn. Perfect next task to do. It's fast. It's not crap. They... You know, I'll go check out the paper, see if I can get some more corn. Somebody else has probably had this task. So I can fill this up. Let's go back, see if they hopefully. Uh, nope, they haven't sold that way yet. Awesome. Ooh, almost did the wrong task. That is. Probably the worst. Oh, no. Now they're sold out. Okay. Oh. Uh, 
Okay, but that one still had it. So now I plant this. This is a fast growing crop, so I don't mind. I'm going to go ahead and take it at that 320. Again, so you can see I'm going to be the first. And what I'll do is when Stephen's farm is done, I will prep the rest of this farm with corn so it's ready to go as soon as I am done on my main farm. So this has 40 minutes, but this will take me, actually it'll be really close, 7 times 5 minutes is 35 minutes. I should, if I'm exactly timed, finish equally between the two. I have 100 fields. If you ever want to know how to check that, it's right up here. But this is how it works. And you just hand off the task to the next person and your points are done. It's easy to do. If you have questions, leave a comment. If you need to see more of this live, I can piece together a different video. But I didn't want to wait too long in trying to explain this because I this will go really fast on through here. Our goal is to be done by the end of today or if we go in tomorrow there will be no crop tasks taken because it's a crop production. I really do not like that we have a crop production event during the Blossom Derby because most people have to sell and your items are going to sit in the shop for a really long time. These will go really fast. If I were to post any of this up right now, it goes really fast. Uh, I will show you maybe, let's see here, put this up for advertise. It shouldn't take very long. Ooh. I forgot to send off my boat. And yes, I always take a picture when I send them off. And it's not because I need the proof and curious. It's I'm trying to see what the pattern is, if there is one, to getting vouchers. On a side note, that doesn't actually have to do with the Blossom Derby. But I'll go down the order as this comes and everything's prepped. If I go to Daddy's farm, you can see it's already prepped for rice. So his first 96 um, farms will be done and or fields will be done as soon as I pick it up. That's one last collection I have to do. And that way you're always prepping. So if you are communicating, everything can be prepped and moved really fast. And you can get the this derby done and knocked out within two to three days, depending on how the tasks fall over here. And now when these start popping back up, by the way, they're going to be plain like this. They're not going to have the same color. Everything starts out with a light. If you can notice, that's a really faint green box with the flower. But all three of my tasks have flowers. That's how I know those are the tasks that count for the blossom. So that your other team member, your other hoodies, should not be taking any task that does not have a flower on it. But then you can see they get dark, darker with each line. It doesn't get dark enough. To me, and I also think that heyday should change so that it, once everybody is done with their farm uh, or done with their task on their farm, so like the last person in my hood does this rice, it should automatically delete or it should become grayed out 
to all members is if I, the, there's no open top, so I can't show you. Um, but if these were done, it would be grayed out um, and give me the trash option. And instead of, so. I don't know if this will show it. No, because they've been taken. So see how you can take, you have the take derby task over here. And, you know, you're like, you're signing the contract that you're going to do the derby or I can trash it. That derby take is grayed out when you can't take a task. And that's helpful, but it's not helpful if you do not know. I don't know what to get rid of, to be honest, you guys. I was having a hard time finding raspberries and had a derby task for it, so I don't necessarily want to sell those off. Sometimes it's hard to decide how to clean out your storage. You know, there just needs a better distinct distinction because if you're not communicating with your team members, there's no way to know then if everybody's taken it especially if you don't have a strict pattern. That's part of why we use a, I use a strict way of how I take them in an order on mine. And then we do that within our group. And then I also keep, um, if for some reason we were to get out of order, I also keep a note um, on my, an Excel spreadsheet that I'll go in and mark and keep track just to make sure. And it's not because Heyday does something wrong. There's, that's not the issue. It's always an issue of whether or not you get it done correctly. Okay, this was longer than I expected. Thank you for watching. I hope this better explains the Derby, the Blossom Derby for you guys. And happy farming. I hope you guys can enjoy this Derby now instead of dreading it. And leave a comment if you have any questions. Happy farming, and I will see you guys when I am alive. Bye.